So in other words, sort of a, a signal-oriented, sentiment-based indicators on one hand, and then experimentation with some time series and sort of predictive um, analytics on that. And can you share a little bit more about the practicality? So for instance, you mentioned you train on your own research data to make it specific. Uh, to the degree you can share, the, is it, do you use open source model? Um, do you build in-house? Can you give us a, some detail? Yeah, so actually our model, uh, you know, obviously we started this research before ChatGPT, you know, so we, we're not using ChatGPT, we use something called MPNet, which is open source model developed by Microsoft, you know, so it's a smaller model, as I said, a little bit older, but given the high quality input data, it performs, uh, it seems to perform just as well as, you know, GPT, so we're pretty happy with it, but of course, you know, there's nothing that stops us from using GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 as well. There's other kind of practical considerations, like